Hello, and welcome to Pegasus Direct Hit Technician, the at the vehicle information resource. At Identifix, we help technicians from across North America diagnose and repair tough problems on the vehicles they encounter, and we collect and store those known good fixes in what we call a hotline archive. A hotline archive contains the information and tests you will need to diagnose problems you encounter on all types of vehicles and systems. Hotline archives can shortcut your diagnostic time and get you to a solution quickly and accurately. With the Pegasus Scan Tool, you can now access hotline archives, repair track pattern failures, posted fixes, and articles right where you need the information most, at the car, during your diagnostic testing. We'll be looking at using the information resources available on the Pegasus Scan Tool to get your vehicle diagnosed quickly and accurately. In this case, our customer has brought in a 2003 Volkswagen Jetta with a 1.9 liter TDI or diesel engine and it's our job to diagnose this vehicle and make a repair recommendation. With the complexity of today's vehicles, the more information you have at your fingertips, the easier it is to reach a solution. Let's go ahead and hook up the Pegasus Scan Tool and get ready to test. Once the Pegasus Scan Tool is hooked to the vehicle, I have to enter the vehicle information. This is very simple. I'm going to enter a new vehicle, and simply using the stylus, I'm going to select the vehicle that I'm interested in by touching the screen. You can see how quickly this can be done. I now have my vehicle selected and now I can go in and test any one of the systems that you see displayed on the screen. Now I could go in and test engine but in this case I'd like to show you a function of the of the Pegasus scan tool that I think makes it superior to many scan tools on the market. Now if you look at the menu items over on the left hand side of the screen you'll see we have a menu item called Automated System Test. And this is the function that I wanted to describe to you. Automated System Test allows us to do an automatic test of every controller on the vehicle. We'll go through every single controller, build the list, and then check them for DTCs. Now this is very important. When you have a drivability issue, a drivability issue could very well be caused by problems in the engine control. That's obvious. What's not so obvious is some drivability symptoms could potentially be caused by the interaction of other systems with the engine. For instance, Transmission could cause surge or a feeling of misfire that's not an actual misfire. You could have a lack of power due to a problem with the ABS system. So it's always a good idea to look at all the related systems and see if there's any codes anywhere. All system DTC scan allows you to do that quickly and easily. This is going to take a little bit of time because there's multiple controllers on a car. Once I start this process, we're going to start building this controller list and it's going to take a few minutes. Now this is a great time as a technician for us to do a quick inspection of this vehicle. What we want to do is we want to see if there's any other maintenance needs or anything else that we can inform that customer of, do a good job and make sure that that customer is not going to have a problem after we fix the problem that he's come in for. So this is a great way to maximize your time by using this tool. We can do the test, we're getting all the information we need from every system on the car, at the same time that frees us up to do some uh, looking at this vehicle and make sure we don't have any other issues. Now as you can see, we've successfully built the complete list of controllers on the vehicle and we've verified are there any codes stored in any of those controllers. So we can start looking down this list to find out what we have. You can see that there's no codes in transmission, no codes in anti-theft, and on down the list. Now, let's scroll to the bottom of the list and now we see that we do have codes. We have a 00532 code, a supply battery voltage code set in the secondary airbag controller and we also have a PO672 code, cylinder number two glow plug circuit set in the engine controller. Okay, we know that the customer came in for a check engine light and a hard start cold. So the PO672 code for the glow plug is definitely a dead giveaway for that hard start. Also, consider this. On a hard start, you could be cranking this car excessively, meaning that your battery voltage would come low. So that could be the cause of your secondary controller airbag code set there with the 00532 for battery voltage low. I'm not going to worry about that code right now because that could be an effect as opposed to a cause, I want to concentrate on the PO172. So what I'm going to do is very simply, and this is another terrific feature of the Pegasus Scan Tool, I can just go ahead and select that code, and now I can go directly into Direct Hit Technician and find out about that code and what might cause that problem and what we can do to fix it. Okay, now I've selected PO672 and my Direct Hit button has come up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select Direct Hit. And now the system is going to go out and it's going to grab the database. And now what we can do is choose how we want to search the database. I can look for information on this exact vehicle. 
I can go with this exact vehicle plus or minus two years. I can use all models with the same engine package. I can use models with the same engine package plus or minus two years and on down the list. Now I like to test or I like to search this exact vehicle plus or minus two years. It gives me a little bit wider range of information to look at and a lot of times that'll give me a little bit more information to look at and I can make a choice as to what I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now the system has gone out and it's searched the database and it's come back and it's letting us know that we have a repair track on this particular vehicle for this particular problem. I've got 35 hotline archives that match up with this problem. I've got some technical service bulletins and I've also got some Identifix articles. Well in this case, I want to look at hotline archives because if you recall, hotline archives are the actual data that we're taking from calls that we take on the hotline. And these are actual fixes and actual, for actual problems that, that uh, technicians are seeing in the field. So let's select hotline archives. Now I've got my list of hotline archives. I can start looking through this to see if anything matches up. Now I know I've got a glow plug code going on this thing. And if you look at the first hotline archive there that displayed, this is actually pulling up a PO673, a cylinder number three glow plug. If you remember, we, we had a PO672 code. Let's just select this archive and take a look at what an archive looks like. Now we're looking at the actual hotline archive. The hotline archive is going to tell us what the customer concern is. It's going to give us all the tests and procedures necessary to diagnose the problem. It's going to list all the possible causes. And in this case, it tells us what confirmed fixed this vehicle. We had a faulty glow plug wiring harness, replace that wiring harness, and this vehicle was fixed. So there's a lot of information here for you to, to access, and it tells you exactly what you need to do to test and exactly what you need to do to fix a problem on this vehicle. It's easy to see that with the power of Pegasus and the real world tests, information, and confirmed fixes contained in direct hit technician at your fingertips and right at the vehicle, you'll diagnose more cars in less time, and that's a good thing.